Shepard of a soul, Shepard of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. Father, I thank you, I bless you, I worship you, I magnify your name. I thank you for yet another day. Thank you for making it possible for us, O God, to gather again. Father, we all left last night and say good night to everybody. Thank God, O God. Thank you, Father, for bringing us all together. As it was said to Moses, all the men of war are all complete. No one was missing. Jesus, I'm persuaded that this morning nobody's missing. In the mountain of solution and redemption plans worldwide. See, all glory belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Amen. For this morning, speak to me and speak to me. In Jesus' mighty name, I spare the devil and all his agents this morning. Have your way in my life and in the life of all your children this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, I actually told the brother Dennis to prepare for message this morning. But after all my work in the night, as we were about to sleep, by five, or and after five, just now, or to five, the Spirit of God said to me, there's a message that's hardly preached in the church today, especially the, the holiness sector, out of fear. And it is my message. My children can go to hell because of this. And he says, we title it the prohibited message. The prohibited message in my house. The prohibited message in my house. What is this message? And it's heavy me in my heart to preach about it. This is the second time. Is laying it in my heart to preach this message after four years now. What is this message? The message of giving. The message of helping one another. So many of my children don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear the message of giving. The message of giving out. But say with add this. Heaven is still very far. Holiness is a complete package. Whoever is tight fitted, whoever that is teaching, have no part to play in my kingdom. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Said today, I am a giver. But many of my children, they are so holy in their own way. But when it comes to giving, give it to the poor, no way. Give it to one another, no way. Give it to my work, no way. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 10, 1 to 4. Acts chapter 10, verse 1 to 4. The prohibited message in my house. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius. Cornelius. A centurion of bond called the Italian bond, best bond rather, best two, a devout man, one that feared God with all his house, which gave much arms to the people, 
I pray to God always. Which gave much harm to the people and pray to God always. Text 3. He saw in a vision evidently about the night hour of the day an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius, verse 4. And when he, when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, That prayers and the arms, that prayer and the arms are come up for a memorial before God. That prayer and the arms have come up, up to God as for a memorial. Is there any of your arm that is going to God? You pray every day. You fast every day. You do every other thing. But when it comes to giving, you draw back. You don't give. The poor people are out there languishing in your eyes. You don't care about them. You are so egocentric. You are so tight-fitted. I, my wife, and my children alone. The work of God is suffering in your eyes financially. You don't do, you don't do nothing. And you are saying you are going to the generous God. You are going to live with the generous God. It's not possible. I did not plan for this message. As I'm talking right now, my eye is heavy. That's why I'm sitting down to preach this message now. So this message is lacking in my house. All the pastors are afraid. If I preach it, they'll say I am preaching prosperity. I am, I am not a prosperity message, a prosperity preacher. Say, so, but they don't know that they are doing themselves evil. They are working to hell or not to them. Why? Because they have left one part of the message. What is their arm that the Lord will see and say, yes? And your soul will go and meet her. Your prayer is going, to, going up every day. You are trying to to heaven every day. Prayer, come and bless me. Come and bless me. I need blessing. But the Lord will bless you to bless somebody no way. The one you have blessed, you have consumed it. You alone. You, your children, and your husband, your wife have consumed it. You are looking for more. You are an ingrid. You are what? An ingrid. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. I start from 29. And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of double mind. For all these things do the nation of the world seek after. And ye father knoweth that ye have need of them, of these things. But rather seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Verse 32. Fear not, little flocks, for it is for your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Verse 33. You are seeking more. See what God is telling us in verse 33. Say that ye have. Sell that ye have. And give alms. Sell. You are looking for more abundance. But it's telling you, I am testing you with that little you have now. Where you are coming to, if actually you want to go there, it's abundant for you there. Seek what is in there. Sell that you have and give up. Provide yourself bags which was not owed. A treasure in the heavens that faileth not. We are nothing of project, neither much corrupted. Say what first 34. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, is there will your heart be also. Many of us are treasure in our account, our bank, our possession. Those things we have in Nigeria, in Africa. 
That is where our heart is. He said, after rapture, you will see those things to enjoy. All these things you are pursuing every day. You will see them to enjoy. You will see the work of God dying. The people around you dying. Yet, you don't care about them. And you are saying rapture, rapture, rapture. I want to make rapture. And your mind is not in heaven. How will you be raptured? How will you rapture on that day when your mind is on earth here? The Bible says, if we be risen with him, seek those things that are in where the Lord dwelleth. Colossians 3 from verse 1. Seek those things that is where God dwells. See, don't put your mind in all these things in this world. You that need more, I'm telling you the little you have, go and sell it and give um to the poor. Go and sell it and use it for the work of God. Go and sell it and give to that person that have nothing to eat. You are stinging. Stinginess We stagnate you on earth here. When all that are fell away, the Bible told us in the book of 1 John chapter 3, 1 John 3 verse 17. 1 John 3 verse 17, please turn with me to 1 John chapter 3 verse 17. Amen. Amen. Please, if, you are, if you are there, you can read this, please. 1 John 3. But also at, but also at this world's good. And seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwell how dwelleth the love of God in him? Hmm. It's a question. How would you say you love God? Uh, uh, one of us starts uh, spoke yesterday with uh, uh Mobilaji. So I went to Nigeria, I saw a family suffering. They were coming to eat in my house, and, then, and when she was about to go, she was crying. Father, how would they continue this way? She even contacted somebody in Ireland, joined me in prayer for them. And God answered her, compassion. But you are here. You are so tight-fisted. You are so stingy. And you are saying you have to go to heaven. It's a lie. You will remain on earth to enjoy those things you work for. Those things that your mind was always in, you will enjoy them. You are not prepared to make heaven. If you are prepared to make heaven, you will mind not all the things of this earth. Cars will not be a problem to you. To load more money in their account as the, the people of the world do will not be your, you know, not be a part of you. You look money as nothing. Money will not be your master. Money will be a slave to you. But today, especially in the holiness sector, stinginess is the order of the day. Stinginess is the order of the day. We are so tight-fisted. We are so stingy. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 12. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 12. Yes, so, sorry, it was not level. It was chapter 12. Luke chapter 12 from verse 29. God bless you, sister. Luke 12 from verse 29. Amen. We are so Amen. full of ourselves. We are so we we don't want to even hear that message. The message of giving. And I pray. The Lord will deliver us because it's not happy with us. It's not happy with the holiness set up today. It's angry. And I pray His mercy will stand for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 5 verse 42. Say, give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of, the, of thee, turn on that away. This is Jesus Christ speaking. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that will borrow of thee, turn not that away. But it's not so today. I need more money. The pastor are looting and looting and looting and looting. 
We tell the people rapture is imminent, but we are building houses everywhere. We are high dealing building houses. We are anywhere we go, we, we put back there. We are putting money everywhere. We are we are doing things to make more money. And we are telling the people we are we are preaching to rapture today. That people will fly away. And you they spend their rapture, rapture. You remain because you are earthly oriented. And I pray that we have mercy upon his children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Every man according as he proposes, proposes in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. You want to be a friend of God, you must be a giver. You want your prayer to be answered speedily, you must be a giver. Learn to give. The work of God must not suffer when you have it. Children of God must not be in pain when you can be of help. How will you say you love God? We just read just now in 1 John 3 verse 17. How will you say you love God when your brother is in need? And you close your eyes on it, you are saying, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire, Father, bless me. He is a lie. Is a lie. What is the use of that blessing when heaven is far from you? What are you doing with all those cars when somebody is out there have nothing to eat? What are you doing with all those money in your account? You you have been having almost twenty thousand euro or how many euro in your account for how many years? You are loading more to it. And I say, God, when rapture take place, now take me away. And people, in, some people in your village, the work of God is suffering in your, your eyes. You have just denied God. He will deny you on that day. See, I will tell those at the left, go, I never knew you. I was hungry, you denied me food. I was tasty, you denied me water. I was in prison, you never visited visit me. You are the one is talking to now. This message might be a stone in your ear. No problem. But I must preach what he asked me to preach. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Luke 6, 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ speaking. Maybe you say this man now is now a preacher of prosperity. You are also calling Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a preacher of prosperity preacher. I'm following the full step of my father. He guided me money by money. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down and shake it together and roll it over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you measure with her, with her, it shall be measured to you again. Jesus Christ speaking here. Learn to give. If you want the Lord to give his kingdom to you, if you want the Lord to give his paradise to you, say, I go and prepare a place for you. If you must enter that place, you must also learn to give. Here on earth, lay up your treasure in heaven. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Where is your treasure? Your bank in Nigeria is full. Where the work of God, where the work of God is lacking. You know God are languishing. And you are loading and loading and loading and loading. I pity you. You will see those to enjoy. After we have fled away, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Acts 20, 35. I have shown you all things how that you, that so laboring you ought to support the work, the weak, and to re remember the word of the Lord. How he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Hey, I know how much I labor for this money, and it come 
So some of your mates are in the hospital, they can never live again. God gave you power to make that weight. And after you have made it, you have to ask him, Father, how do you want me to spend this weight? Many of us, we only, we only remember to pray to God where we have need. But when the need come, we never ask him, how do you want me to spend it? This morning, I have just received now. How do you want to, to, to receive it? I mean, to spend it. How? We don't care. We only remember him when we want to ask him for money. Ask for blessing. Every blessing that comes our way is for a purpose. If you are only a channel for that blessing to pass through. It might not even be for you. The whole money might not even be for you. So a percentage might be for you. But because you refuse to ask him, you swallow all the money. And you, are just, you are just swallow hell in you. Let us be careful. All things matter to God when it comes to going to heaven. Everything counts. We must learn to give. We must learn to support the needy. We must learn to support the work of God. We must learn to support one another. Yes, you will stay on earth to enjoy what you are laboring for. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 18, I will stop here because of time. Luke chapter 18. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a man in the Bible who desired, the, who desired to enter the kingdom of God, but he denied himself by himself for himself because of greediness, because of selfishness. Just as so many Christians today who have done everything outwardly, inwardly to the heaven, but because of your selfishness, because of your greediness, you will lose it. And I pray the Lord will have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I read from verse 18. A certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one that is God. 20. Thou knowest the commandment. Thou do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, verse 21, all this have I kept from my youth, just as I say now. I've removed earring, I've removed trousers as a woman, I, I don't lie, I don't steal, I don't fornicate. Very good, you have done all this. You are so proud of it. But something is still lacking. Verse 22, now when Jesus heard these things, he, he said unto him, you lack it, that one thing. Sister, you are still lacking something. Brother, you are still lacking something. Pastor, apostle, whoever you are, you are still lacking something. Say all that that has. Can you beat that? We don't have a testimony from Sister Charity. Say all that that has. And distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come and follow me. Come follow me. And when he had this, verse 83, and when he had this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. Just as I saw for now. Hey, this man has changed his message. Yo. He is not into prosperity. You have heard it now. This is Christ himself speaking. And this man was sorrowful. And when Jesus saw that, he was very sorrowful. He said, how hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? This man desired to enter God's kingdom, but his riches denied him. His bank account denied him. His business denied him. He loved his business more than his soul. He loved his money more than his soul. But he desired to enter God's kingdom. Who is that sister? 
Who is that brother? Who is that apostle? The Lord is speaking to right now. He opened my eyes by five o'clock to my son. Mm -mm, don't sleep. Don't sleep. My wife thought I was sleeping. He came to check the check. It meant that I was still busy. Preach this word to my children. This word is prohibited in my house today. And I am a righteous God. I will judge you with everything I've ever said in the Bible. I spoke about giving. Giving is part of righteousness and holiness. Brother, your stinginess is taking you to hell upon all your preaching and all you are doing. Sister, whoever you are, apostle, bishop, whoever, you are buying jets up and down and your members are languishing. I remember three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I was thinking about how do I get money to go and do visa, to pay for visa and go to Ireland. And uh, one family somewhere we are looking for money to pay for the house rent, 500 euro. The other one again, 400 euro. I said, hey, how do we do this? He said, my son, you better abandon where you are going to. And settle this one first. Hey, Father, all oh, glory belongs to you. Hey, please take your 500. Take your 400. Let every other thing stand. And I know the Lord is able to provide. What is that thing God is putting your heart to do? And you are denying Him. And you are saying, because of your prayer, because you have removed this and that, you will make heaven. So if you deny me before my father, before the people, I will deny you. Many people are languishing in abject poverty. Your children are making meow, 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 meow. Food is wasting in your house. You eat this square meat and you food everywhere wasting. And so people are somewhere. They have not even water to drink. You are saying, I am a rich man. No problem. No problem. Keep on eating it. Your wife, keep on. She has more than enough clothing. She can never even wear till she die. Keep buying. Keep buying. No problem. After we have fled away, you enjoy them. You are a pastor, whoever you are. All the tithes you are collecting, you are you only you. You are you are shifting cars to Africa, building houses. The work of God is lacking. You are not bold to do one program because you don't want to spend God's money on it. No problem. No problem. Enjoy it. Enjoy. But the time is coming. You will see a lot of money. You will say, hey, I will not eat money again. Brethren, let us not make money our master. Don't make wealth your master. You see how a young man just deny himself of heaven. Don't deny yourself of heaven. This is the word of the Lord. The prohibited message in my house. He titled it himself. And I pray, God will have mercy upon us. Wherever you have denied him of his glory in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. You are your giving are all wasted. Unless you are born again, your giving will be remains. Say after me if you want to accept Christ this morning as your brother personal savior. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I've seen how you love your children. You want them to be with you on the last day. You are guiding them all around. Father, I am a woeful sinner, a chronic one, living in the far country of sin and iniquity. Have mercy upon me. Wash me clean with the blood. I renounce the things of this world. I renounce the devil and all that belongs to him. I accept you, Lord Jesus Christ, this day 
as my Lord and personal Savior and Master. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I am born again today. All things are passed away and all things are passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Father, for I receive power not to go and sin no more, to do according to your will. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Have you declared this declaration? The Lord is rejoicing with you. The saints in the house are happy with you. I pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of days, I bring these ones before you. I ask, O oh God, that oh God, as they have surrendered their life to you. Father, give them the grace to surrender everything they have to you. To surrender their marriage, their children, their husband, their wife, their money, everything to you, nothing left behind. So that on that day, nothing shall be able to draw them. Nothing will act to them as force of gravity. To pull them back again in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. This word will not be used against me, nor against the era of it, O oh God. Rather, we all shall go back home and search ourselves and see where we are denying ourselves your kingdom and make amen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah. Before I hand over to my coworker, I want to, if you know you are in, in any way guilty of this world, I want to ask for mercy. Say, Father, I'm sorry for the way I've been living my life. I've been so stinging. I've been self centered, egocentric. But today I repent of all my sin. Help me to do that I will not deny myself your kingdom on the last day. In Jesus' name. But if you are already perfect, no problem. You can move on. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy on my soul. Father, I acknowledge you to have God. Father, please have mercy on me in the way that we very stingy. To support my life, especially financially and otherwise. Lord, for the less privilege, Lord, I beg you, have mercy to support my soul. Father, have mercy to my soul. Have mercy to my soul. I am sorry. I am sorry. Father, please have mercy to support my soul. Lord, for the less privilege, Lord, my we have prayed. 